everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We have a two win streak. Crown me! Uh, we're not, not playing checkers here. Okay, seller one, ZHM three, J Papa J. Papa J's pizza. Better pizza, better ingredients, Papa J. Last run, we. Mathematically, we basically had a 50% chance to win <laughs> at the end. If Guppy's Collar worked, we had a great chance of winning. If Guppy's Collar didn't work, we would have been dead. Guppy's Collar worked. We won. Admittedly, I mean, I, I hate using this excuse because it doesn't make any sense. It's like, admittedly, I went way harder on the devil deals than I would have in a competitive situation. What are you talking about, man? Fucking life is a competitive situation. All right? That, that, that excuse doesn't make any sense. I've just got to play better. But at the very least, pulling a win instead of a loss is uh, it's helpful, man. Just seeing that little streak number tick up while still having, uh, you know, absurd runs feels good. I really don't want to feel like I'm backsliding. That's the worst thing for morale. But I'm feeling all right right now. Nod Leaf. Great play. Um, Reroll a potentially rum run winning item. You can win some rum with it if you bet some rum on it to begin with. Uh, for Tiny Planet. But early Tiny Planet, Tiny Planet is just actually interesting. I uh, I think it's probably bad. I know the spirit arts are back there. People are shouting, "Whoa, you're gonna forget the spirit arts!" No, man. I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, not going to lose my spirit arts against a boss and get nothing back in return for it. If we stay here and these guys don't sort their shit out, I can do some good stuff. There we go. Uh, it's, it's just an interesting and, and a new way of playing the game, a novel way of playing the game that doesn't show up all that often. So it, it obviously presents problems, but at the same time, it gives us a lot of opportunities for cool synergies as well. And uh, I'm going to be happy to try it on for size here. This should be an easy chain reaction, obviously. Uh, one cent, two bombs, two keys. So we're not going to do anything about that shop right now. Come on. Some shots have got to hit. At some point, some shots are going to hit here. If you want to know early, uh, early game Tiny Planet strategy, I stole it from, I think a Twitch commenter was like, hey, why don't you try using Tiny Planet like this? And I must admit, it totally worked. Uh, fire in the opposite direction of the enemy you want to hit. The shots then loop around you, come back, and hit roughly, you know, the the period in the rotation that you would want them to be at in order to have a chance to at least hit the enemy, you know? The bigger the enemy, the easier it's going to be to hit him. That is relatively obvious, I'm assuming. What I like about Tiny Planet is how awesome it works with some synergies. If we get Mom's Knife, it's fucking awful. However, um, Tiny Planet Brimstone is hilarious. Tiny Planet's uh, Death's Touch is hilarious and good. Um, Tiny Planet technology. It's good. Like, there's a lot of, of really good opportunities for us here. Lump of Coal. Great with it. Huge rate of fire. Great with it. Like, really, our tier stat becomes a very, very important. Because we're going to be missing so much. Probably should have been hit there, honestly. Oh, come on. How did all those shots just, like, slightly whiff? we got to be careful about our range stat as well. Can get us into trouble. Cat of Nine Tails is a great pickup for us here. The damage is huge. The real problem we have is that if enemies get close to us, we got no means to hit them reliably. So it's going to be a little tricky there. But I've never want to shy away from a challenge here. In most situations, at least. I don't know why I had that map up the entire time. Uh, I'm, I'm rarely, rarely one to shy away from a challenge. So I'm actually kind of content with this. And to be honest with you, I just don't really like Nod Leaf all that much. There are some times when it saves your run. But Tiny Planet is absurd in a fun way. Nod Leaf is absurd in kind of like a, oh, kind of way, you know? Oh, not leaf. I'm just going to go make lunch while I finish my run here. Uh, you know, you, you could be of two minds about this room. Am I happy I have Tiny Planet for this room or, you know, salty I have Tiny Planet for this room? I don't know. I think it actually it makes it easier to hit these enemies without putting ourselves super in harm's way. So I'm happy about it. But a big part of that is also that we have... Uh... Ooh, that was so bad. There goes one of our spirit hearts. Um, a big part of that is also that we just have Cat of Nine Tails now, which is a plus one damage boost. Really, really useful item, no matter what you got going on. More Tinted Rocks would be uh, fantastic. Of course, Tiny Planet kind of automatically gives you, I don't know if I'd say piercing shots. It might technically be piercing shots, but it automatically gives you like spectral tears basically as well. Um, so your, your shots will 
go over rocks and stuff like that. It's pretty much a prerequisite for making that item, like, literally not absolute fucking trash. If it, did, if it just hit rocks and died, it would be god-awful. This is kind of a, a marriage of necessity. I could just get you to... Yeah, I don't really care about trying to find the uh, secret room on that one. Mostly just worried about getting into this devil deal. Because, again, a, a pickup could make all the difference here. You know what, I'm even going to try something along these lines right here. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, we could reroll stuff on the shop if we don't like it. I don't really want to go for a candle. I'm looking more for passive items. Uh, and maybe some consumables as well, like another spirit heart wouldn't hurt. Can't get it. Early mom's purse is good. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy the piggy bank. I don't think the piggy bank is that good. But... It's early, and it should mathematically way more than it pay for itself. And if we get like a D20 or something, it's good. And if we play arcades, it's good. And it's already paid for one fifteenth of itself right there. So much of my piggy bank distaste is like, I don't get hit. We're going to get hit. I get hit. But, like, especially on a run like this. Dodging is like my secondary concern. I don't know if we can actually go uh, another hit without losing red hearts, so I'm definitely going to use my bomb there. You dick! I hate you, tiny planet. That's alright. That's alright. That was just going to give us a shitty golden chest anyway. It's going to give us something stupid like small rock. It was going to double the damage increase we've gotten on this run. Like, I need that. I want spirit hearts instead. Blank card. Interesting. I I find it very hard to find the motivation to get rid of the D6. Especially early. Especially right before a deal with the devil. Can't really re-roll it just yet. Because we've got our deal with the devil coming up. We do have three cents, uh, or we have a three cent purchase that we can make for the battery charge. But we could still do that after we do this if we want. That spirit heart may make all the difference. It may make no difference. I like it. I'm really glad I went back for that pill. That would have been a stupid thing to leave behind. You got something on your face, Isaac. No, not the back of your head. But also the back of your head. But ooh, you'll be all right. Ooh. Fistula. Not my favorite. It's regular fistula. The silkworms are going to be super annoying. Most important thing, I think, don't let the fistula parts get you. I believe that the fistula parts do one full heart. Silkworms are going to do a half heart. We have a little bit more tolerance for getting hit if we get hit by the silkworms instead of the fistula parts, but actually this is going pretty well. Fistula has become one of the more terrifying bosses for me, but in this situation, maybe we got lucky or maybe maybe I've been uh, just hyping it up a little bit too much, but that was pretty good. Rotten meats. Gotta get the goat head. Gimpy! <sighs> I'm gonna take it because it makes our... Blood Bank play even better on top of the Piggy Bank. So it gives us a second reason to play Blood Banks. Book of Sin. Why did I pick it up? That's a very good question. I guess I, in my brain I was like, deal with the devil precedent. But actually, no, 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 no. No, no, no. This is good. I shouldn't have picked it up, but I can go back to the shop, buy the charge for three cents, then with the goat head, come back and re-roll it again. So sorry, blank card. I'm not taking you. Plus, we spent 3 HP, we picked up 2 on this floor, so it's not like we're, we're hurting for HP right now. We're still going to be in a pretty good spot. However, that was suboptimal, but it won't matter if our next... We could even be in a better position if our reroll turns it into a 2 heart deal. That would be incredible. That would be our idiocy working out to our advantage, which wouldn't be great for learning purposes, but would be hilarious for, you know, effective purposes. And it did. That's normally a too hard deal. That's hilarious. Uh, let's leave. So we saved the red heart by taking a deal we didn't need to take and then re-rolling it later. That's that's investing right there. We got goat head, so all we really need to worry about is survival. That's so good. So we come back and re-roll the goat or no, re-roll the guppy's head at a later date. For now, really nice start. What we did not get is any items uh, except for the uh, 
Cat of Nine Tails, but I mean like we didn't get anything from that Devil Room that really improved our offensive capabilities. And even from the boss, we got HP. Not anything to sneeze at. At the same time, not uh, what I'm looking for in order to make Tiny Planet not a huge liability. Tinted Rock in here, of course. Very easy to spot, even for me. Not saying if you didn't spot it, you should feel bad, but you said it, not me. Come on. I'm just, like, I'm in such a safe place here, I kind of feel like I gotta do it. Um, Goathead is huge. Should give us more offensive gain in the future. Gimpy is huge would probably be an exaggeration, but good. Money should be sorted for us now with Petrified Poop. There we go, we finally got in to the like hitbox range of that. Uh, no reason to take Counterfeit Penny over Petrified Poop long term, I think. We can fly. I don't know, I, I keep getting spooked at the start of these rooms. It's not necessary. We can fly. And we're, our, our damage is good. Probably exclusively as a result of Cat of Nine Tails, but it's, it's functional. Let's go back and get that Tinted Rock, a Small Rock pickup, or a Spirit Heart is too good to pass up. And maybe a second secret room at the same time, but unlikely. Two bombs. That's also solid. Because we're so close to another reroll, I am going to come back here and uh, we'll do two rooms around this room. That's interesting as well. Uh, especially with Piggy Bank and Gimpy, but I can't do it yet. Because I'm given. There's too many situations where we're losing HP. Okay, we got to just get some hits in here. Uh, I know that we got Gimpy. I know that we got. Piggy bank. We stand to gain by playing that demon judgment, but I'm also going into that curse room where there's a guaranteed item. Where's my Gimpy pay out there? That would have gone a long way towards making your case, Gimpy. We got a really bad loadout for dealing with this guy here. The other thing, though, is Super Pride does pay out with nine lives occasionally. Did not do so there. This is an interesting setup. Check this out. Would have popped down this judgment. Okay, so it's not a. Uh it's not a regular judgment, which is actually very unfortunate for us. Or sorry, it's not a demon judgment, which is very unfortunate for us. Gave us a key. If we get a nun's habit, which is pretty unlikely, but if we get a nun's habit, that demon judgment becomes so much more valuable. But for now, it's all about this curse room. Stop getting inside of the effective range of my item, please. And also, Tiny Planet, stop knocking these enemies into, like, a line of sight with me. That one's on me. That one's on me. Yo. Don't get hit. Don't get hit here. Good. Don't die. Like, definitely, definitely don't die. Curse room be damned. Survival's most important. That's huge. Yeah, man. Let's do it. I don't know what the heck this does for us, but in a weird way, it allows us to, like, shoot straight temporarily. I don't know. I'm just going balls to the wall. You're giving me these balls to the wall items? I'll take these balls to the wall items. Please give me, like, HP. I demand it. All right. That's better. And then a high damage item, maybe. All right, that's solid. I'll take it. And this actually gives us some great opportunities to play the Demon Judgment here. Maybe pick up... Oh, Gimpy, thank you. And give us the HP necessary to buy a Nun's Habit. They all paid out. I never thought that this situation would arise, but here we are. Um, well, we definitely, with Anti-Grav Tears, got a lot stronger against enemies that chase us. Against enemies that don't, I have no idea. It's a very strange situation. The shots, they fly a lot. I have a hard time believing that this is in any way worse than the setup we had before. Because I could always just tap shoot if I have to. But I I, I would be hard pressed to tell you if this was better. I also I have no strategy at all about when the shots should be released. <laughs> I figure, like, well, I'll tell you what, we'll just let the enemy walk into those ones. There's a strategy that we can employ reliably. Let's take that map off, uh, because I think it's pretty clear that we're not going to be doing boss rush here. Yeah. Yeah. Probably even get this. 
And I'd like to keep the ability to get a blood bank on the next floor, because that is really something that we could take a uh, high advantage of. Oh, I can fly. Right. Probably not worth two bombs, but we did get three back, so I don't feel too bad. And I will take that Eternal Heart. I really doubt at this point we're going to lose it. And if we do lose it, we deserve to lose in general, so... We'll, uh, we'll get what's coming to us, basically. Not an easy dodge there. Guess we're pretty much just putting, like, as many shots on the screen as we can and hoping they work out. This will be a deal with the devil. Uh, we, do we have another battery charge in there that we can pick up? No. Alright. I doubt we're gonna be able to get a battery charge in general here, but it is possible. So these enemies are gonna be super simple, because they're very predictable. Just fly right into my shit. I love it. Yeah, definitely no charges coming. Slow down, please. Thank you. Yeah, this is good for me. I appreciate it. We're accidentally hitting a lot of enemies, which is like the best way for that to happen. Hmm, no secret room there, which means our secret room is probably right here, weirdly enough. And a decent amount of money involved. Certainly enough to feel like we got a good chance of getting an arcade on the next floor. I botched my rerolls. I'll admit that. I'll be the first to admit that. Again, these guys are really easy as well. In a weird way, we're playing like reverse Pac-Man. We're just trying to put shots down where we think they're going to be in the future. And then they get to walk a walk on them up if they're interested. And it's a uh, work a work a work in right now. Synth oil, plus one damage. Fair bit of that. And hey, we are going to have a reroll ready just in case we get Krampus's head. But I hope we don't. I hope we get Lump of Coal, not just because Lump of Coal is good, but because it's really, really good with uh, extremely long-lasting shots, like, say, ex for example, Tiny Planet. All right. That's fine. The Pact is also great. I can't complain. Pact for free, especially. However, I would have loved Lump of Coal, and I don't think there's any way to get us to fight Krampus again. So this is a great situation for us. I willed this arcade into ex an existence, and uh, here it is. Should be getting stupid amounts of money. The occasional gimpy payout. I like it. So up to 39 cents. Definitely enough to basically do whatever we want in these shops. Then we can come in here. Okay, pills. Could be good. And a lot of bombs. A lot of bombs. Not a great start to this room for me. Speed upgrade is actually worth it, though. That's the, the crown jewel of this whole uh, boss trap room is the speed upgrades that we've been picking up. And by speed upgrades, I mean literally that one speed upgrade we got that one time. Remember that? Yeah, that was that was big for us. We can fly. I can fly over the creep. Don't sweat it too much. Sweat the eyes a little bit. The other thing with anti-grav tears, I talk about this all the time when we fight like oh, Monstro 2. If you can get, Peep is another good example, if you can get them to just jump on top of your tears, and preferably the asshole eyeballs don't... Uh, you know, n bl blow them all up before they get a chance to get there, um, then you can really do a lot of damage. If you have like seven tiers in an area and they just jump straight on top of them, that's a lot of damage. A 48 hour energy, that's real good. Very thankful. Thank you. We are getting to the point where I don't feel like Tiny Planet is adding a lot to this run, but it's also not a catastrophic recipe for pure disaster. It's like, you know, you got some kind of, like, genetic deformity, but you've also got, like, really, really good singing voice. So you're gonna, you're gonna be all, you're gonna have a chance at it, at least. Range down is relatively irrelevant, I think, right now. And every time we get the opportunity, we're gonna come back here, because we only stand to gain, basically. We're, we'll lose red hearts, big deal. Who cares? Isaac's head, nah. Spirit Heart and a Bomb, really good. Would I trade two bombs for a Spirit Heart and a Bomb any day of the flippin' week, except for days in which I've had a run with uh, the HP cap already being reached, which is a lot of them, but, you know, still pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. Cool it. This is getting a little ridiculous on my part, not playing well here. Those are traditionally toughish enemies to dodge, but being a little ridiculous... I don't know how I botched this one so hard. There we go. 
Um, but we're still in a great position. It's the goat head, man. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's the head of an undulate. Um, ungulate? Undulate? There's undulating, not ungulating. I don't know. I think it's an ungulate. It's been a while since I needed to know that. Some might argue I never needed to know it. Poison touch is not good. I gotta get out of that habit of just being like, yeah, poison touch, it's okay. Such dumb damage, man. I'm bleeding out here. If we continue to... That was... Oh my god. Okay, stop. Hands off the keyboard. Slow down. We're gonna play better now. Just take a break. Don't let yourself get caught in this equilibrium. I will... I will take the steam sail as a... Basically a situation because I'm going to re-roll... Um, this. I know we have batteries existing. I will take Eve's Mascara. Really fucks with our rate of fire. Raises our damage greatly. Is it good in this ridiculous situation we find ourselves in? Conventional Wisdom would say it's fucking terrible, I think. And that's why I like it. Because I've never been to the Wisdom Convention. They won't have me. So let's show them who the fuck is boss. The other idea that I always have with Eve's Mascara is that, you know, a Tears Down is temporary. Glory is eternal. Let's try it out here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with this. A lot of money. Half a spirit heart down the drain. That's a, that's a decent trade. You know, that we didn't get Wayne Gretzky for a bag of pucks, but we didn't uh we didn't give up, you know, Wayne Gretzky for a bag of pucks either. Fine by me. We're about to get another natural full reroll. None of that silicone stuff. Those are Made for toys, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, try it. Get fucking close to me, dude. Chase me down. I'm the number one menace for miles around. Okay, well, not you. You're a little fast, so I don't like that so much. I know we have petrified poop. We should be shooting the poop. It's hard to shoot the poop with uh, with this setup, man. Cut me some slack. Don't push the bomb. Don't push the bomb. All right, perfect. We got a reroll. We got goat head. We paid the Krampus tax. We're fighting an enemy that chases us down. Oh, did you see how many times it walked into my bullet? Oh, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Try it again. Oh, one more? One more? Hello. Hello. Hello, my friend. We meet again. It's been a while. Where should we begin? It uh, feels like forever. Okay, you did hit me there. I'll, I'll give you credit for that one. That one's on me. I'll take experimental treatment because it's weird, but let's see what we've got in our deal with the devil first. I can't justify it. I can justify that. That helps so much. Now I have like a guaranteed damage dealer. I think our rate of fire may be increased. Um, let's go play the blood bank. We might as well. We got no shortage of time here. I think we maybe increased our rate of fire. We'll never know for damage. Speed, hard to tell. HP stayed the same. Uh, maybe a secret room? Definitely a secret room. I'll waste an extra bomb just to speed up the process here. How do I feel about this run? I have no idea anymore. But it's certainly interesting. Come on, Gimby. Come on, Gimby. Come on, Gimby. No Gimpy. All right. Well, 89 cents though. That's pretty solid. 91 cents, I should say. I don't know, man. But uh, the little brimstone pickup helps a lot. You'll forgive me. Maybe we actually are shooting less often. It's hard to tell. But you'll forgive me if I start using little brimstone as our primary damage dealer for the time being. If uh, Tiny Planet gets great, no one would be happier than myself to take advantage of that. For now, it's a little dubious. We're much better off rolling with, uh, I think at least, rolling with Tiny Planet uh, as kind of like a secondary. And uh, Little Brimstone as our principal damage dealer. And they will work well uh, together with one another, especially when enemies are going to come straight at us in a line. That makes our life pretty easy. Alright. Do we sacrifice uh, half of a black heart for a chance at greatness here? Absolutely. Yeah. Usually this will work out. One spirit heart. Two bombs, that's all right. We gained half of the spirit heart when I thought we were gonna end up losing it. 
We lost a bomb too, but I think it was worth it. Kate, what are you doing in here, girl? You're freaking me out. I didn't want to scare you, man. She didn't want to scare me, so she's dipping and ducking behind my chair like some kind of ghost or something. No, it was cold. I don't know. I think she had an ulterior motive. I, w I went I went to look around the chair and she, there was like a tick, 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 like someone was skittering around trying to get out of the way to not be seen. I don't think I'm crazy. I think I, I know exactly what's happening here. I think I'm seeing clearly for the first time. Why am I not taking that health upgrade? Let's take that health upgrade. We got the 48 hour energy. Now we have the added luxury of being able to actually like hold that 48 hour energy and use it whenever we want. Two of clubs, sure. I think I'm gonna take Whipworm with me. Oh, I have Mom's purse. Right. Yeah, we should definitely have gotten a uh, counterfeit penny back there. I think we can all laugh about it now because I got 91 cents anyway. But I definitely should have. I was like, no reason to get rid of uh, Petrified Poop for counterfeit penny. Boy, if I only had Mom's purse right now, these two trinkets synergize very nicely together. As usual, um, bit of a silly decision on my part. It's okay though. Tinted rock? Was there a rock tinted in there? Uh, no, okay. Very slow run. That happens. It's not a big deal, actually. Loki's horns is not good, but perhaps interesting. Yeah, that's what I mean. Those extra shots there. Interesting with Tiny Planet at the very least. And of course with Curse of the Blind, how are we going to know what it is until we pick it up in the first place? I guess if they're all going to fire in like basically the same direction. Um, that was very dumb. Oh, that was even way dumber. Um, if they're... <laughs> Man, I have like poor impulse control here, man. It's like if I get hit, it's like, you know, we're having a fire sale, man. I'm going to be hit multiple times. However, um, if all the shots are going in the same direction, I guess Loki's horn plus tiny planet is like occasional quad shot. Sort of. There's probably a reason why that's not literally true, but I don't know what it is. I'm just going to keep taking the dumbest damage here. Shop. We'll buy them both. We got Steam Sale and a ton of money. Boomerang, not a huge fan. Treasure Map, I can take it. Reroll the Boomerang. The Candle, not a huge fan. Tell you what, we'll buy this bad boy. Reroll it. Fanny Pack, makes our uh, Blood Bank meta even stronger. I wouldn't say I love it, but uh, I'm content with it. And we're still at 80 cents. We should probably donate, but it's so unlikely to matter. We have been to our item room. We've got rerolls ready. Yeah, let's give it a shot here. Cage, super annoying. But good thing about the cage is he jumps and he rolls, kind of you know, in reliable positions. So we'll set up like a ooh, decent opportunity here. That was beautiful. Spoonbender, man. Spoonbender. Caffeine pill. Uh, not a big fan. Let's not take it yet. And. Razor blade. Well, it's an opportunity for rerolls, so we'll pop this. It didn't charge up the item. I guess it didn't count as having like been that ready yet. Demon baby. Well, that's it for that. So let's take this. Pretty fly. Really good. Really, really good. We might as well do the slightest bit of extra exploration here. We have 20 bombs. We can make a pretty good case for looking for our secret room. But we continue to, you know, not really have improved ourselves all that much. So I don't know. Not our secret room. Uh, we're not Guppy. When we become Guppy, if we become Guppy, yo, people will be like, that's a bad attitude to have. You should say when, not if. Yo, a realistic attitude is not a bad attitude. If we become Guppy, it would be nice for us uh, to get like hive mind, but up until then, maybe something like BFF would be would be a good pickup because we are rolling nicely with familiars right now. I mean, we're doing a decent amount of damage ourselves. I just don't think, like, right now my HP is not high enough for my own poor play plus the ill effects of Tiny Planet to compensate for. It is what it is. I think that's a realistic way of looking at it, which is not to say we're going to lose, just that we've got work to do before we've got a win. Before we have a win, not like, you know, got to win. 
Uh, I might as well donate here, and we got two cents out of it, or we got two cents into it, which is really good. All we need to do is have like, uh, you know, 500 runs like that, and that'll take us back to 999. Of course, in case you're a, a late uh, coming viewer here, we did get to 999. I just accidentally botched it afterwards, which is not like a, I don't think it's a big deal. But some people disagree with me on that. Ah, that's big, Guppy's Paw. Uh, let's use it once. And then nine lives, so we should have used it twice, but we did just become Guppy. See, that's what having a realistic attitude will get you. We became Guppy. Flies are gonna be a huge help now. Let me get, let me get, uh, oh man, 48 hour energy, so good too. Let me get uh, BFF and Hive Mind from our next shop. So this is probably sorted, and now I'm extremely happy that we took, uh, that we took uh, hi, uh, Tiny Planet. Because it's going to make this run more interesting than if we were just Guppy. And, you know, no other weird signifiers going along with it. It's a nice run now. I don't really like Bum Friend that much. Yeah, 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 I like Money Equals Power a lot. I'm a big fan. So now, all of a sudden, after complaining ever so slightly about our damage, our damage becomes quite good. And another reroll's not gonna hurt, especially if I can get like a battery. But now I'm asking for like so many different shop items that it's impossible to keep track. I still don't really have a strategy for Tiny Planet Anti Grav. I'm just kind of like filling the screen with as many tiers as I can. It seems to be working out relatively well. Maybe it'll fall apart in the late game. This run is like. Case, well, that was not <laughs> financially great pickup there, I guess. But um, this run is like absolute case in point for go to your curse rooms. That's why you got to offer up a key to the key god and say thank you very much for what you've given us today. Didn't get my double play out of either of those, which is not smart, but it happens. Come on, Demon Judgment, work with me here. Fanny pack paid out. Where's my Gimpy, though? No Gimpy payouts. Try him again. Yeah, I'll take it. There's rerolls available. I like speed, like the speed upgrade. It's not the most useful upgrade, but when you get it for free, I don't want to be like, hey, you want some free garlic bread? You're like, oh, I don't really like garlic bread. Just take the garlic bread, okay? Can I exchange it for a free coconut shrimp? Yo, those exist in two different appetizer tiers. As soon as you start putting seafood in an appetizer, you're getting into premium range. Don't be such an asshole, okay? Start making substitutions on the on the gratuities. Yeah, this is all right. It's not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. And another speed upgrade. Uh, like champion's belt, good. There's options. It's only going to help us on one more boss fight, but. That's that's worth seven cents in my opinion. I don't want to reroll it into something just really dumb and bad. Oh man, our damage is so good right now. It took me until seeing how much we did against Mom to really internalize it, but that is crazy. Uh, Mom's knife is awful in this situation, and we're already guppy. Rotten baby is great in this situation, and Dark Bomb is probably better. But Dark Bomb, I also find, is an item that makes me very lazy. I don't want to, you know, imbue myself with those kind of characteristics unnecessarily. Gotta be top left here. That looks like uh, your classic kind of um, Mr. Fred followed by Mom's Heart Boss fight area. I would be very surprised if I was wrong here. I'm not being sarcastic. Like, that is... You know, you just asked me the ingredients of a BLT. And I'm like, I'm feeling pretty confident about my answers here, Alex. I did think you could get through there the upper way, though. In fact, you might be able to. This would be a huge help. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I was I was definitely trying to, like, weasel my way through it, but whatever. And if we end up dying, you can laugh at me for not picking up Dark Bomb. I wish these enemies would stop shooting me right as the GD level starts. That's uh, honestly not really fair, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, I didn't program the game. <laughs> Ed Edmund. I guess Edmund didn't program it either. <laughs> A team of very talented people. <laughs> now it sounds like I was being sarcastic about that last part, which I was not.
No, Tomo. Now's not the time. Daddy's in little brimstone tiny planet mode. How's it going, buddy? You wanna jump up? Yeah, jump up on the desk, man. You never come and hang out in my office anymore. You're you're killing my viewer retention. Everyone's going, where's the Tominator? He's never showing up anymore. There you go. Come on, buddy. Look right up here. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Takes a lot to make a stew. Especially when it's me and you. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll pick you up and put you up there. Okay. Oh, you can. You got a friend in me, Tomo. There you go. Look at that. You like it up here? If you jump on my computer, don't jump on my computer. All right, we're good. To, I'm back in the zone now, the Tome Zone. Little Brimstone is seriously carrying us here. Uh, we do have permanent Polaroid invincibility. I like that more than I like one HP. I was just about to say, man, they should really make an item that allows you to reroll pills. You're telling me the D20 already exists and I'm a fuckboy, Tomo? Or are you just skip? My, my desk isn't that high. Oh, you, there you go. Goodbye, buddy. It was fun while it lasted. I'm glad we had this period of bonding. All right, let's focus on the run at hand here. In a weird way, like when I'm distracted, I think I actually play a little better. It's a weird, uh, you know, it, putting myself in the quote-unquote zone. Disappointing. Dark Bum would have been useful there. Um, okay, so thank you for the Gimpy payout. We're not necessarily guaranteed to have Mr. Fred, but my directions did come true, and we did have Mr. Fred. <laughs> Let's come down the side and take out these, uh, his, basically his familiars here. No deal with the devil coming for us. Gotta go Super Band. Ah, no we don't. We could reroll them. I'm gonna take the Halo. I know, and we should go back for our other health upgrade now, too. I know, I was like, permanent Polaroid invincibility is pretty good. But is permanent Polaroid invincibility worth more than, uh... That couldn't have been an item, by the way. Is it worth more than, uh... An all stats upgrade and then one extra HP on top of it? That's where I start to question it, and I think the answer is probably no. The good thing is we have, uh... Nine lives as well, so even if we do end up dying... I think we're doing enough damage that, under good circumstances, we could reasonably expect be expected to beat the chest on one life. Well, on one HP times multiple lives. Let's let's say it that way. I didn't really want to shoot that right off the bat, but if the game uh, deems fit, then fine. I don't really want any of the items I could get from red chests. I would want uh, spirit hearts, but I don't trust myself not to take damage in the meantime. We may consider it at some point, but for now, not necessary. Money equals power. Got to pick up that extra .04 damage. And of course, my tiny planet strats have kind of fallen by the wayside now that I need to point at an enemy to actually hit them with a uh, little brimstone, which does a lot of my damage. That doesn't mean they were flawed in the first place. He stepped all over my flies and tears there. Uh, we'll take the bombs. Doubt we'll need him. Pretty psyched, though, to have this 48-hour energy pill left for the next floor. Gives us way more rerolls than we otherwise would have had. Man, our shots hit like a ton of bricks here. When they hit, which is rarely. But even if you only rarely got hit by a ton of bricks, it would be a very memorable experience. You'd remember it for the rest of your life. Doesn't really matter whether it's bottom right here, or not bottom, I guess, but down right or down left. Both very close together with one another. Come on, give me a... Uh... A compass map compass would be fine HP would also be warranted or not you know that sounds like I'm entitled to it you know what I mean yeah I'm happy to have it not our proper direction but an easy room to uh, surpass anyway and there's our there's our room all right this is going to be a little bit more interesting here I guess we want to like charge our shots in the opposite direction and then fire Little Brimstone in the other direction. I know how strange that sounds. I think that's actually... Man, we got like a crazy amount of DPS here. That was insane. I know we're guppy, but... I was still like, our shots are not hitting very reliably, but... They're working out for us. Okay. 
Yes. No. No. Yes. These are two big items, I think. Then, Miter is big. Then, 48 hour energy. Virgo is decently big. Let's just take a reroll with us here. Uh, I'm assuming boss is probably upper side here. So the Spoonbender play should allow us to hit with a lot more of our shots, which will really speed up this process of, of doing damage to enemies. Which is not me being lazy, but rather, you know, I'm having a tough time avoiding taking damage. So these are pretty huge plays here. Pretty lucky plays, to be honest with you. He's so lucky. He's a star, a Z-list YouTube star, but he cries, cries, cries when he gets Isaac's heart thinking. Will I ever get a hundo streak in? What's the luck formula to spawn the teeth? Doesn't really work. Really digging deep into the Britney Spears, you know, singles catalog for that one. Singles catalog has a really variable meaning depending on what context you're talking about. Anyway, I was thinking we might be able to one-shot him. Technically, maybe we did. Don't ever try that shit on me again. Oh, we've won, man. I'm a little surprised. As soon as we picked up Tiny Planet, I was like, our odds of winning probably drop by like 25%, if not more. But uh, it, they're really, really sealing the deal with it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run. I got I got confidence underneath me again. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, which will be very soon. I promise.